Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be working on a Vincent van Gogh inspired painting, but we're going to put our own twist and we're going to make it a Christmas theme. You're going to want to make sure that your canvas is in landscape. As you can see, I switched it from portrait to landscape. And I started with my pencil to make some snowy hills. It's okay to use pencil on canvas because it's easily erasable. Just make sure you don't press down hard. The next step is you're gonna use the blue paint with your bigger paintbrush and you're just gonna paint the background. This is gonna be the sky. Remember that it's okay if you see a little bit of white because this is the first layer. We're gonna do the first layer let it dry and work on our second layer. Now that we have waited for that second layer to dry, we're gonna go over it again with blue. That way we make sure we get any of the white spots that were still left. After that first layer, I cleaned my brush off, that way my brush wouldn't get hard. But eventually when you do the second layer, you are not going to add any water, you're just using that blue paint and painting over, so you are not adding any water to the canvas at all. As your blue paint is still wet from that second layer, you're going to use that same brush, mine broke but just attach it, it's okay. You're going to use that same brush and put a little bit of white on it. You're then going to add that white to the blue and you're just going to keep blending back and forth with your brush. After you had finished blending that white, you're gonna let that dry before moving on to the next step. While you are letting that dry, you're gonna clean your brush off. Make sure you run it through your water and tap the sides to remove excess water. You're then gonna use your napkin to make sure to rub that brush back and forth and dab it. You don't want to make it go crazy in all kinds of directions. You just want to do it nicely because if you do not, you will end up messing up the brush bristles. After it is dried a bit, or at least make sure that it's dried completely on the bottom, you're going to grab your small brush, dip it in the white, and you're going to make these lines all along the top of that heel. Okay, using the brush, with that white paint still on it, you're gonna add a couple of dots. Eventually, you're gonna have to dip it back in the white, but you wanna make sure you remove some of the excess paint before moving on, and you can do that by using your napkin. For the next step, you're still using that same small brush, but you're going to dip it into white and add more lines across the top line that you did that's going across the hills. Using that same brush, you're going to dip it into a little bit of white then we're going to start making our line that's going to swoop through our little stars. Moving on to the next step, you're using the same paint that was already used on that brush. You're not dipping into any new paint and you're just going to do a swoop line across those tick marks that you made that were going through the stars. 
eventually you want to add some more marks that are more defined so you're going to dip it into more paint and make some of those lines again those dashed lines for the next step you can use the same small brush that you have but this time you're going to dip it into some yellow we're going to start to create a moon if you use that same small brush please make sure to wash it off before using the yellow you're going to make a little moon and then we're going to add the little stars inside. Using the same brush, you're gonna keep dipping back and forth into the yellow, but this time you're gonna add some dashed lines on the bottom where the white dashed lines are. Using the same brush, you're gonna dip back into the yellow when needed, and you're gonna create small dashed lines around your star and your moon. Please make sure that when you are done with the yellow that you clean it off and dab it on your napkin. Once you're done cleaning that brush, you're gonna dip it into the white and you're gonna add dashed lines around the moon along with the stars. Using that same little brush, there's no need to clean it, you can just use it from the when you use the white. You're going to dip it into the blue, then you're going to add dashed lines throughout the moon and along with the stars. You're also going to add some blue to that white dashed line that you have going through the stars and also the dashed lines below above the heels. Once you are done with that, you're going to grab your big brush that is cleaned. You are going to dip it into the white and you're going to go over that area of the heel. No need to clean your brush. You can just use it as it is. You're going to dip it into the blue, but you want it to be a very, very light blue. And then you're going to run that over the heel. Make sure just to add a couple of blue dashes on your painting as you can see above then you can either clean that same brush or you can use your smaller brush and go in and blend it all together the reason why we're adding blue to the snow is just because we want it to look a little bit different than just that plain white we want to add a little bit of dimension to the snow For the trees, you may notice that I already had three trees on there. That's because I forgot to push record when I was making it. So I'm going to show you how to make one with a smaller tree right here to the side. It is still the same concept. You're just going to add a little bit of black to your brush, your medium sized brush. Then you're just going to kind of go back and forth doing the same steps. Obviously if you want a bigger tree, you would just bring out those lines even more. Using that same brush, you're going to wet it a little bit, then dab it onto your napkin. Then you're just going to use that brush to add some shadowing to your trees. Then with your cleaned brush, the big brush, you're going to add a bit of white. You're going to start working on the snowman's body. It's okay if it doesn't completely show because in person you will actually see a little bit of it. This will take a couple of layers, but just make sure to do three separate parts for your snowman. You want to make sure you let it dry before you move on to that second layer. So in the meantime, what you can do is you can get a little bit of white on your small brush that is clean. 
and add a little bit of highlight. This is an optional step, so it's up to you if you want to do it. So with that same small brush, you are going to add white to your brush. And then you are going to go over and create that second layer of paint. If this is fine to you after the second layer, you can leave it. But it is up to you to decide if it will need another coat or another layer of white paint. If you do do another layer, please make sure to let it dry before adding white. The reason you want it to completely dry is because it'll allow you to see the imperfections. Once it is dry, you can go over with more paint to fill in those imperfections and make it completely covered in white. Moving on to the next step, you want to make sure that your brush is clean and that your snowman is dry. You want to then dip it into the black, add the eyes, the mouth, and the buttons down your snowman's body. Before moving on to each step that remains, please make sure that you wash your brush. You're going to dip your small brush into the orange and create your snowman's nose. After the nose, you're going to create your snowman's arms or hands using the brown. After you add the hands, you're going to start to make your snowman's hat. Make sure you color it in, but make sure the brush is also clean. This will take multiple layers, so please do as we have done before. Let it dry before adding more color. With your cleaned brush, you're going to add black to it, but make sure you clean it off on the napkin because you want it to be very light. You're going to add a shadow right behind your snowman. The final step remaining is to add your scarf to your snowman. The scarf and your snowman's hat are going to take multiple layers, so please let it dry in between before adding that new layer of color. As you can see, I am going back and forth after the first layer has dried to build on that red to make it more brighter. I am doing the same thing for the hat, building on that layer to make it more brighter. The final step is to clean your brush, then add that white snowball and the brim of your hat and then you will be finished. I hope you like this activity and I am so excited to see your work.